Taurus, what's good? Welcome to the channel. My name is Onwar, professionally known as DJ Onwar himself. I do have an Instagram if you guys want to check it out. But if not, that's totally cool because that's not why we're here, right? Of course not. We're here to take a look into your recent past, your present, and see what's coming in for you in the near future. Keep in mind, Taurus, not everything you hear is going to ring a bell. So if you don't hear any little bells ringing and dinging off in your head, there's a good chance it's not your story. Go ahead and leave that behind, all right? This for sun, moon, Venus, and rising, and I cannot shuffle. Let's act like we didn't see that. <laughs> Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. Please like, share, and subscribe if you will. You do have free will, and if you choose to use your free will not to do so, that is totally fine too. I love having you uh, while you're here. All right, let's take a look. See what we got here. Please bring me, connect me to the energy of Taurus for the collective in love. Taurus, what do we have for Taurus? Taurus, how y'all doing? You look good? All right, let's jump into your reading, Taurus. Let's see what we got here. Please bring me clear and accurate messages in regards to the zodiac sign of Taurus. I just looked at my clock and it was 111 uh, in the time. It's a good start, y'all. 111, new beginnings. Please bring me clear and accurate messages in regards to Taurus. Please bring me clear and accurate messages in regards to Taurus. Eyes water, and I got incense and sage and Palo Santo and all kinds of shit burning. Now my eyes is burning, so we got four things burning now. Get this eyeball burning. We'll be up to five now. Don't play. That's a challenge. Five is a challenge. Don't play now. <laughs> you heard? All right. Overall energy is somebody is no longer feeling uh, trapped to a situation. Bottom of the deck. Somebody is uh, releasing themselves from a situation that they were uh, trapped and bound to. Somebody's releasing themselves from that. The heart of the matter, you have the uh, chariot in reverse. So um, things could have been, move, been moving forward and things could be at a standstill now. You possibly could have. This could be a uh, delayed travel plans. If you were traveling to see somebody, uh, plans could be delayed. And the challenge, you have the, uh, the king of swords in reverse. So... There could have been some arguments and uh, the, the challenge is somebody is being really, really um, uh, kind of argumentative, cutting somebody off. Or using now, there's two ways I can look at this or somebody could be just really, really super just being a butthole or uh, or opening up, Op opening communication. And the, uh, the root of the matter is someone was feeling left out and abandoned, but someone's no longer feeling. So I, I feel like things are, um, have the chariot in reverse, something to stop and someone's no longer, somebody, this, somebody could be given up on a connection. In the recent past, somebody was juggling. There's a lot of reversals here. Um, the recent past, somebody was juggling. They're no longer uh, doing any juggling here. Somebody has come to a conclusion where they were indecisive in the past. Somebody's realizing something somebody could have ghosted somebody and could be returning to somebody that they ghosted or somebody that they were abandoned somebody could re be returning to that they've uh in, in the recent past they've had time to figure things out to where they were uh, trying to figure out what they were this is you Taurus, where you're trying to figure out what do i want do i want to be where i'm at do i want to keep moving things forward in a situation things could have come to a halt in the current situation that you're in with the chariot in reverse where things have now halted you're no longer moving things forward and you and you've made a decision here and it looks like you're coming out of the cold with somebody you guys could have been arguing in the past and communication is lightened up that's what i'm getting here from this uh king of swords in reverse it looks like you're fixing something with somebody in your conscious goal you have uh man there's a lot of reversals a lot of reversals. Conscious, uh, conscious goal. You have. Uh, it looks like you're. Um, you're. You're wanting to get out of a situation with somebody that you see as a. This could be a partner here with the Empress in reverse. This could be a. You could be walking away from somebody who is like a wifey to you, or. Um, a, a mother figure to somebody who's somebody who is really fertile somebody this is this is this is like mother motherly uh wifey type of energy but it's in reverse so your goal is to reverse okay so you're you're wanting to walk away from that you could be wanting to leave somebody 
you could have come out of the cold with somebody else and, and wanted to leave someone else that you're that you're currently connected with. In the recent past, you're trying to figure out if, if that's what really what you wanted, if you really wanted to be in a connection with your current person or this person from your past. But it looks like you're uh, looks like you've made a decision and you're wanting to leave. You're wanting to come out of the cold with someone and go into the cold with someone else. Uh, what's coming in for you that you're not aware of? Another reversal. OK, so um, you have the emperor in the in the reverse. So where somebody could have somebody. OK, so you're fixing something with somebody. Something is getting worked out here. The emperor is really strict and set in his ways. It looks like you're pulling back from that. Or whoever this is that you're dealing with, it looks like they're pulling back from that uh, being strict and, and just arrogant and kind of lightening up. Your conscious goal, the, the, the first upright card we have, and it's an offer. And not your conscious goal, I'm sorry, your, uh, your attitude towards this. Your attitude is that you're wanting to make somebody a small offer, a stable offer. It's an immature offer. It's something small. It could just be barely getting something going with somebody. It could be as simple as like, hey, take my hat. You know, if, if this hat's going to make you happy, we should take it. But it's a small offer. Now, then I messed up my hat, I had it crooked off purpose. Is that right, y'all? Is that right, Taurus? All right. Look at fly. All right, cool. There we go. <laughs> all right. So um, where we at? Okay. <laughs> Got me all sidetracked in this shit. All right. So in your person's energy that you're dealing with, someone in your environment that you are dealing with, uh... They have the four of swords in reverse. So whoever you are dealing with, they are also coming back. This looks like a reconciliation. This looks like something has been worked out. Somebody that you're dealing with um, is coming out of the cold as well, where they have fallen back, taking a break from you. It looks like things are getting, uh, getting going again. Things are picking up with you and someone that you're dealing with. In the past, they could have taken a break from you, but possibly walked away, washed their hands of the situation. But it looks like here, um, that's they're no longer doing that. They're coming out of their com conversations, communication. There's a swords too. Swords also represent communication. So communication could be picking up with this person. In your hopes and fears, you're fearing, um, you're fearing that you're gonna lose some type of stability. You're feeling that you're going to lose some type of, uh, uh, possibly could lose income over this. The queen of pentacles in reverse, the queen upright. She's, uh, she's very stable. Uh, uh, things grow around her. She's really good with money in reverse. This is a loss of finances. This is, uh, uh, yeah, just financial loss, a loss of stability in the potential outcome. You have the knight of wands in reverse, the knight of wands, uh, upright. This is non-committal energy looks like somebody's willing to uh, make a commitment here this looks like there could be a commitment in the work somebody or somebody who's being a player this is a i don't want to be a player no mo <laughs> and i feel like that's you taurus so let's clarify tell me about the uh tell me about the recent past why is the two of pinnacles here for the recent past what happened in the recent past in the recent past, you came to a uh, to a conclusion where you were possibly juggling people. You walked away from one of these options. You're uh, you're indecisive, trying to figure out which option you want to go to. It looks like you walked away from one of them. Why is Empress in reverse for Taurus conscious goal? Okay, so you could be you could be. Wanting okay, you have the world in reverse. These are both major arcana too. The world in reverse. This is this is not getting your wish. This is this is wish unfulfilled. Could be dealing with karma here. You're um. This is this is you staying in a uh, staying in a in a chapter in a cycle with the world upright. This this is this is new chapters. This is a clean slate. Second chances. Clarify the world in reverse, please, for Taurus, conscious goal. Clarify the world. All right. So you're wanting to, yeah, you're wanting to come out of conflict with someone, possibly, possibly a baby mama. Baby mama, baby daddy, you're wanting to come out of conflict with. You guys could have been uh, having petty fights or something. 
But if you now if you're dealing with the baby mama, baby daddy, it looks like they also are coming out of this too. It looks like you're both. It looks like you could be reconciling with the baby mama, baby daddy. Uh, why is the emperor in reverse? Why is what is the emperor for the incoming? We got two jumpers here. This there's a lot of reverse. Okay, so someone's no longer being um, or well, somebody could be kind of being cocky, arrogant. Um, someone's no longer okay. So someone's no longer focusing on the past. Someone this so this is looking really really good though. There's a lot of changes being made here. There's a lot of positive uh, attitude adjustments being made here. Someone's someone's no longer being um, just kind of like. Like, like, yeah, like, I'm the, I'm the shit, look at me. Like, you know, that type of, like, cocky, arrogant type of, no one, someone's coming out of that and, uh, um, no longer, no longer having regrets. Someone's no longer focusing on the past. This looks like something being worked out. Because if you're suddenly not focused, not worried about the past and coming out of sadness and regret, I mean, go figure. Uh, tell me about the... Talking about Taurus external energy, their environment. Who is this person? Why are they? Uh, tell me why the Four of Swords is in reverse for Taurus person. Another reversal. You got the. Uh, there's a lot of major arcana here too. Um, you have Temperance in reverse, clarifying the Four of Swords. So somebody's coming out. Somebody is no longer wanting to. Somebody's anxious. Somebody's getting impatient. Um, somebody, this now this could have been a, a sudden change, a, a sudden change to where, or if it didn't happen suddenly, somebody's excited about this, um, and they're wanting and they're they're wanting to come out of this, and they're being impatient. They're like, okay, let's get this moving. I was going with the flow. I'm being impatient. Let's get let's get this going. I'm coming out. I'm coming out of this uh, out of hiding. I'm coming out of uh, this retreat. What's up? What's good? What are we doing here? I feel like this person is saying, like, if, if we're going to do this, let's do this or don't play with me. How does this person feel about or actually, how does this person uh, see Taurus? How do they view Taurus? No longer waiting. They feel like you uh, you that you you could have been waiting and they're no longer making you wait or they're no longer waiting. You're you're whatever you're waiting for. You're getting they view you as you're you're getting something that you've been waiting for. How do they feel about Taurus? How does this person feel about Taurus? They're holding themselves back. Though, so they're trying to stay strong. They're really holding themselves back uh, because they're becoming impatient and they're um, really wanting to jump forward, but they're having to tame themselves. They, I feel like this person is really, really digging you, really feeling you, and they really, really want to go for this because they're, they're holding themselves back. Um, tell me about the Knight of Wands for the likely in, uh, outcome for Taurus. Knight of Wands. This this could be um, somebody's not making a decision here, or this could be someone someone's not going to be getting a second chance. Why is it? clarify the justice in reverse? Or someone feels that something's not fair. And they want to they want to rush in and talk about this they want to okay so they're becoming impatient they want to rush in and tell you that something's not fair you better balance something out or don't fuck with me what is the most likely outcome for this connection for taurus and person that taurus is currently thinking about right now watching this video for what is the most likely outcome you guys are going to come out of conflict I'll put one more card on it you guys are going to come out of conflict you still, you're, but you're still, you're still going to be stuck in a in a cycle. So, um, you're going to come out of, of conflict, but there's you're not necessarily going to get what you what your wish. It's not going to be exactly what you were hoping for. Give me one more. Somebody's gonna somebody's gonna reveal some truths. There's gonna be some uh, some secrets revealed. Someone's gonna be honest and stop lying about something. They're gonna reveal everything. Uh, things are gonna become clear to you. What's going to become clear? Let's be nosy. What's going to become clear? That there's... Okay, so there's not... It doesn't look like there's going to be a reconciliation here. Why isn't there going to be... Why is it six... Because so no, someone's no longer thinking about this. Or it doesn't... Look, there looks like they're not... There won't be a reconciliation. Reconciliation because something's not fair. 
somebody's okay i feel like somebody's gonna want a commitment and the other person's just not gonna be on that page somebody could just want like the hookup somebody could just want to play around but not want to commit and that's gonna that's gonna come to light someone's gonna express this someone's gonna rush in and express this and it's gonna cause uh cause this not to reconcile or it's gonna cause you not to return to each other Give me one more card for the most likely outcome and you're yeah you guys are going to release yourselves from this uh from whatever this is you're going to end up releasing yourselves from it so let's see if you're dealing with a who are we doing look at my little book or oh, not my book my little uh board if you're dealing with an aries if you're dealing with an aries um there is possibly a third party that they're dealing with they're dealing with somebody other than just you if you're dealing with the leo they're no longer watching you. Uh, they're no longer curious. They could have figured some things out about you. They're learning something about you. They're figuring something out about you. They're catching on to something. They could have been watching you in the past, but they, uh, they're, they're, some light is being shed on something and whatever's going on here. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, um, they are no longer wanting to entertain this connection. There doesn't look like there's gonna be a, uh, any offers not from the sag anyway if you're dealing with a cancer uh same deal there's a, they're they're with they're withdrawing from you they're no they're no longer uh, uh, approaching they're no longer if they were chasing you in the past or or uh, making advances for you they're they're no longer doing that they're pulling back uh the uh, knight of cups in reverse if you're dealing with the scorpio too many cards um but I'm going to take them. So they're, um, if you're dealing with the Scorpio, they're, they want to be single. They're, um, oh, wait, they, they don't want to, they're moving out of, they're moving, they're letting bygones be bygones, just wash with their hands of the situation. Um, they're no longer single. They could, they could have met someone else and could be entertaining someone else. Because they're no longer, you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and then the, uh, the Six of Swords upright. So they're moving away from a connection because they or they're they're no longer entertaining this connection. They're moving away from this one because it looks like they may have been sw swept up by someone else. Who was that? Uh, that was no Scorpio. Okay, if you're done with the Pisces, there's going to be. Um, there's going to be a compassionate heart to heart. You guys could be having a heart to heart soon. If you're dealing with the Virgo, they are no longer stuck. They've released themselves. They freed themselves. They're no longer in the head. They, they figured some things out. If you're dealing with the fellow Taurus, um, they, they could be given up or they could have walked away from a third party situation. Or they're unable to figure out. They're unable to figure out a plan. Or they're unable to uh, uh, figure out a strategy to get the, the outcome that they want. They, they can't seem to figure it out. There's something they can't figure out. If you're dealing with a Capricorn. Wait, was that a Cap? Was that... Who did I do? Okay, one, two, three, four five six seven eight who we do one two three four five six seven eight yeah capricorn all right that's what i thought dealing with the capricorn um they are no longer entertaining other options uh they could have figured out uh they could have figured out what they wanted as to where they were looking at other options looking at many options looks like something is being coming clear there where they were felt like they were looking at something through rose tinted glasses it looks like uh, the 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 mist has been wiped off their eyes, and they're seeing things clearly for what they, for what it really is here. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they want to take action. They have an idea, and they want to take action on it. They're very they're proud of whatever this is. They they have confidence in whatever it is. They feel like it's gonna work, and they want to uh, they want to take action on it. If you're dealing with the Gemini, they are letting go. They could be letting go of a financial situation or some type of stability, but. <coughs> Excuse me. Whatever this is, uh, they're they're freeing themselves. They're letting go too. There's a lot of releasing, a lot of letting go here. They but they could have been holding on in the past, and they're not they're not holding on. They're just like they're releasing. And then if you're dealing with a Libra, there it is. Oh, 
Why did you fall? If you're dealing with a Libra, there will be a decision here. Last card, there'll be a decision here in love, whether um, it's with a soul connection and just somebody who's just regular, <laughs> or uh, it could be a soul, it could be a, this could be a decision in between somebody that you're tied to. This could be a soulmate or twin flame, a past life connection. Also with the six of cups here um, in the spread, this could be making a decision between something that's going to actually work and something that's going to be a dead end. So let me put some oracles on it and then I'll get you guys up out of here, Taurus. Okay, we'll go ahead and take it. Your intensity, your, your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. So the person you're dealing with could see you as really intense, really intense person. You could be a, a, a loudspeaker, a loud, excited, whatever this is, but whatever that they see you as really intense and it scares them, uh, scares them, but at the same time, it makes them really attracted to you, it makes them really like fiery, kind of like that bad boy, bad girl, like, oh, you're scary, but God damn, that shit turns me on. So uh, yeah, your intensity. So that's how they're feeling towards you. Okay, well, we got two more. I feel safer in the silence. So possibly this uh, intensity is too much for them and they feel safer just not communicating. I feel damaged. Uh, I feel damaged. What? Oh, I feel damaged like I just can't do this. Sorry about there's a glare here with the lights and shit. So I feel damaged like I just can't do this. So something has taken a toll on. It possibly could have been this uh, intensity, whatever this is, but something possibly could have taken a major toll on them and they feel like they just can't do it. You know, they, uh, they have to release. They could possibly want to. You're not going to feel this way if, if you don't if you don't want to, uh, if, if, if you don't want to do this, but they just, they can't. They, there's, they feel like they're broken beyond prepared. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. And I want to thank you guys for rocking with me. And uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would love to hear your stories and uh, connect with you guys in the comments. I also would love to connect with you guys on uh, Instagram. If you guys would like to add, again, you don't have to. You do have free will. So anyway, that's what I got for you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.